Wimbledon of breaking FA rules on betting match on matches. The club has been fined seven and a half thousand pounds. Mr. Hillier was in the dock at the Football Association's headquarters in London over allegations that he backed Swindon to lose in an FA Cup tie two years ago. The club's former manager, Lou Macari, was found guilty on the same charge. He escaped a ban but was fined a thousand pounds and censured. Martin Graham Scott now reports from London. After nearly four hours, the FA has found Swindon Town club chairman Brian Hillier and Lou Macari, the former manager, guilty of breaching an FA rule for betting on a football match. Brian Hillier was suspended for six months from all forms of football and football management. Macari was fined £1,000 and given a censure, and the club was fined £7,500. The FA said it regarded contravention of its rule of misconduct as serious. We regard it as serious and we've imposed appropriate penalties. Earlier, independent witness Dave King, the former club secretary who was sacked from the club last month, said he was deeply saddened. Sad day for Swindon Town Football uh, Club. Um, I wish the, the club no harm. I've loved the football club all my life and um, I just hope that from now on that things will settle down and they can go on to gain promotion to the first division. The allegations centred around an FA Cup game between Swindon and Newcastle United in January 1988. A Sunday newspaper claimed Hillier had won £4,000 by betting on Newcastle to win, showing a cheque made out to him by Ladbrokes. Many people in football circles will regard the punishments meted out to Hillier and Macari as being light. But the problems to Swindon Town don't end here. It still faces a football league inquiry into alleged under-the-counter payments to players. For that, it could face another fine or have points docked, enough to wreck this season's promotion challenge. Well, after the hearing, neither Mr Hillier nor Mr Macari were available to comment. But tonight, Carol Embry, the woman who failed in her bid to take over Swindon Town Football Club, said Mr Hillier should resign. I think not only Mr Hillier, I think any directors who had knowledge of the bet, um, and you're only telling me that he's been charged and no other individual director, I think should resign. Um, it's not fair just for him to take it. And what about the fine against Swindon Town? I think that's totally unfair. Totally. I don't know the conditions of it, but I don't see why the football club should be fined. Today's events at Lancaster Gate have cast a shadow over Swindon's success on the pitch. As Rob Gillis reports, during the past six years, the club has climbed from obscurity to become one of the main challengers for first division status. The partnership between Lou Macari and Brian Hillier was to prove one of the most successful in the club's history. In the space of five seasons, it took Swindon Town from the fourth to the brink of the first division, only narrowly missing out on promotion to Crystal Palace in last season's playoffs. Lou Macari joined as player-manager in the summer of 84, after a glittering career with Celtic, Manchester United and Scotland. Brian Hillier, a local businessman with his own building firm, took over as Swindon's chairman in October. Macari was sacked in April, but reinstated after just five days, following a campaign by players and supporters. His commitment to the club was total. He bought a house in the area and his children attended local schools. His policy of hard training and strict discipline brought results, a goal-scoring spree and Swindon's meteoric rise up the divisions. The partnership ended in July last year when Macari joined West Ham. He signed for the Hammers after his name had been linked for the succession of top clubs. Then the success story began to turn sour. In August 1989, there was a takeover attempt to oust Hillier led by former programme sales organiser Carol Embury. Then came the newspaper allegations of a betting scandal, leading to the pair appearing before the Football Association today. Further newspaper allegations this month led to the sacking of club secretary Dave King, who was at today's hearing. Meanwhile, Swindon's current manager, Ozzy Ardiles, must carry on regardless. His job? To win promotion to Division One and get the headlines back where they belong, on the club and its successes.